Okay, and we're back with another RoboZone Extra. We're going to talk about championships today and some of the differences between the Michigan State Championship and the World Championship. Both of those events are quite a bit different than a district that many teams may be used to. So let's talk about some of those things. What are we going to expect at the State Championship, Dan? Well, we started with 450-ish teams in Michigan. 160 of them have qualified for the State Championship. Uh, they'll be broken up into four divisions of 40 teams each. So actually, it's a lot like a district. Uh, you play your division of 40 teams. Uh, the winners of each division then will come together uh, on one field and we'll play a semifinals and a finals with those four alliances to get our overall state champion. And those three state champions will qualify for the world championship along with, I believe, 79 other teams based on points. Yeah, we're going to have 82 uh, teams promoted to the world championship from the state championship. So those are pretty good odds. If you're going to the state championship, right, 160 teams out of our 450 going to the state championship, 82 of those going to the world championship. Now, 96 teams will be in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So there'll be 24 teams, just like a district, from each of the four divisions and uh, so a total of 96 teams going into the playoffs most of those teams will gain enough points to advance to the world championship yep. certainly if you are going to win your quarterfinal matchup or maybe be an early pick or early seed uh, you probably have enough points uh, and what happens at the world championship so we send these 82 teams they're joined by what another almost 600 teams at the world championship uh, I think it's this year they split the championships right we have this is the first year ever for the dual championship there's one in Houston and then there's one in St. Louis on uh, on two separate weekends so this is the first ever so we have over 400 teams uh, going to the St. Louis championship broken into six divisions so the playoff configuration is going to be new this year they have a round robin style do you want to talk about that Dan I actually don't know specifically what's going to happen but so they're going to all play each other once. Yeah, so they have a round robin where each uh, division will play each other division one time. So that makes a total of, I believe, 12 matches will then occur. And so they'll play, everybody plays everyone else. At the outcome of that, the two top ranked teams with the highest, again, win, win uh, numbers against all the others will be the two that then go into a best two out of three playoff to determine who is the St. Louis World Champions. Right, so a little bit more difficult if you're the kind of alliance that likes to make tactical adjustments on the fly, right? You don't get another chance against that one, uh, that one alliance, so you gotta kinda have the right strategy going in the first time. Do you think the strategies will play out the same in Steamworks? Do you think there's another week of game evolution that will occur after our Michigan State Championship? And I think we're starting to run up to the limit, right, of, of the evolutions. There might be a couple tricks left in the bag, but I think for the most part, if you're ahead shooting fuel in autonomous mode, um, then you're going to play the three rotor and defend strategy or four rotor strategy. And if you're behind, you're going to have to try to catch up yeah, I think so. Although we have seen in some other parts of the country scores exceeding 500 where people are claiming the fuel bonus and the quad rotor bonus, which is quite uh, quite tremendous to see. So I think if we can get the right alliance with three really high performing teams, yep. we may see that often in the coming two weeks. You never know. Okay, some things to think about for both the state and world championship. And of course, remember, next year the world championship is coming to Detroit. So we'll definitely be around for that one.